update following the 3CX VoIP solution being hacked and the supply chain vulnerability that has led to this exploit. Public post was finally made by 3CX, none other than Nick Galea, the CEO of 3CX himself. He writes, hi, as many of you have noticed, the 3CX desktop app has a malware in it. It affects the Windows Electron client for customers running update 7. It was reported to us yesterday night and we are working on an update to the desktop app, which will release in the coming hours. There's a lot to unpack in that and we are going to unpack that in this video. However, he goes on to mention the desktop app should be uninstalled and that Windows Defender should pick this up and uninstall it and then to use the Chromium extension instead. So Nick mentions the Electron platform in his public post. So what is Electron? So we did a bit of digging and it looks like Electron Framework is the open source backend that helps build a desktop application and in this case the 3CX desktop application. Electron also seems to handle pushing out the updates which seems very uncanny with how this malicious payload works. So following that we wanted to know what is the payload actually reaching out to, how is this all working, and none other than John Hammond, the veteran in the area of cybersecurity and threat hunting, already had tweeted out this tweet. He writes, right now I see the github.com forward slash icon storages forward slash images repo including the 3CX supply chain attack has now been taken down. So it seems under further investigation that the installer was actually reaching out to some repos with the malicious content that would basically be the payload on the client's computer. So we went back and we had a look at our internal Sentinel-1 detection. We actually had a detection on one of our internal machines that had 3CX desktop app installed on it a little while ago. And at the time, we didn't think much of it. We just ended up using a different solution and never really thought about it. Thought that it was a false positive at the time, but didn't reinstall the application. So it turns out that this is actually what has happened it has been a payload that has been detected through behavioral analysis because it seemingly at first glance looks sort of all right and legit because it's still sort of using that framework in the background and it's a supply chain attack rather than something that would be more apparent at first glance but it begs the question, when was this first detected? Now, in the post earlier, Nick mentioned that it was reported to 3CX last night. So we went back and we had a look, and it seems that Sentinel-1 has a blog post about this. I'm going to record my phone as I read this so that you guys can also see it. Sentinel-1 has posted this on their Sentinel-1 blog. It's dated as of yesterday when I'm recording this. It's titled Smooth Operator Ongoing Campaign Trojanizes 3CX Desktop App in Supply Chain Attack. In summary, as of March 22, not yesterday, Sentinel-1 began to see a spike in behavioral detections of the 3CX Desktop App popular voice and video conferencing software product categorized as a private automatic branch exchange PABX platform. The behavioral detections prevented these trojanized installers from running and led to immediate default quarantine. It goes on to say that in the Mac environment, it is literally just a trojanized installer, but however, in the Windows environment, it seems to be in some respects a little bit more malicious in its intent because it can be used to steal information from said browsers which may lead to session tokens being stolen which is something that is happening quite frequently recently now in another post 3cx publicly says 
that this could have been a state attack, state funded attack, and there could be more to it. So we, we are yet to see exactly the motivation behind it or what it was leading to. They also mentioned the fact that this, not the Trojanized side of it, but more the spyware side of it, could lay dormant on a system and was later sort of cherry picked which would become active to then steal information so it seems like it is a very targeted attack as opposed to random so we went back and had a look at our particular environment when the detection happened and it seemed to happen exactly on the 22nd of march when sentinel one said that they had an influx of these reports so it seems that there's been around nine days where this has been in the wild and seemingly not spoken about however detected we went back further to have a look if 3cx was reported to or about this in any public way and it seems that in 3cx community forums there was a few posts on the 22nd of march this year that report Sentinel-1 and other AB solutions picking up this behavioral analysis as being malicious of the 3CX desktop app. Now the responses are quite sad in retrospect. The staff reached out and in a nutshell responded saying that there are many AB vendors. If we were to reach out to all of them, it would be to cumbersome and that perhaps said client should reach out to their AV third party to find clarification. Perhaps they didn't realize the magnitude of this and how big it would become where we would need to involve the CEO writing a public statement. Now, in no ways am I trying to disgrace 3CX or pull them down. I'm purely just stating the facts. And it is awesome that we are now seeing Nick Galea publicly post and reply to many comments about what actions should be taken going forward. Now, this has been an update on the 3CX desktop application and the malicious content and how this is a supply chain attack. Please, please, please check if you have 3CX desktop app installed, uninstall it immediately and make sure that if you need to continue using a desktop version of 3CX, you will use the Chromium based one. Contact your IT support to learn how to do that and feel free to contact us if you need help with any cybersecurity issues. My name is Jordan Albaladejo. I'm the owner and lead engineer at Ingest Services. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. Thank you.